cradle of the gods. Whoa. Yeah, that's that ergo gathering machine thing that we saw a long time ago. Oh. Oh, wow. Okay. I didn't even get close yet. Whoa. That's... It's not human anymore. He has the ability to read minds, did his notes say? He looks so well and immortal. Behold, this is Ergo. Is it not magnificent? Distilled immortality and a key that opens a world with no lies. A key that unlocks true evolution doesn't like people lying because he could read people's minds and everyone Give was saying thanks. lies there goes a gift from me simon monis who will transgress even god bow down to your god who will be This immediately looks like a dodge kind of guy, not a parry kind of guy. Show me everything you have, Papa Dr. Pendo. Okay. Is he gathering Ergo? <laughs> Holy Sword is better for blocking and stuff. This one will have to be. <laughs> Huge range. I, it's hard to get close because he's he's got such a huge range. I'm trying to feel out where to get close. So that's a three-piece attack. Or four. Again, he hits hard. He can jump far back. Yeah, that distance. He keeps putting a lot of distance between himself and me. I don't think I can break that weapon. So we're not we're not going to parry. Oh, he's going to do it again. Okay. Learning, we're learning. If I keep hiding him, whoa. That's new. He's faster than Lazaxia. The first phase. Okay, but this guy is already... He has multiple phases too, doesn't he? He's already at half health. That's not normal. If you want constant pain, I can apply. <laughs> Better yet... Where's my opening? Death. I need to find an opening.
He only has one arm. Beating the crap out of me with his one arm. This is good. Oh. I wasn't looking at his health. <laughs> this is evolution. Behold, as I discard this fragile body. Uh. Witness me as I grasp the power of a true god. Ooh, ooh. Oh no, that means tentacles might lash out at me. Oh, what the hell? Whoa, there's like a whole person in there. You look... phallic? We really should be using this time to attack him, not just gawk at him in awe. Ew, what the hell? This is disturbing. He's reaching, he's close to attaining godhood. Whoa, it's like that one painting. Let's attack him. Let's stop looking at this. I should have just chopped off his arm. Damn it. Oh, now he has arms. He has both arms. And I bet that one has an element. Disruption! Oh my god, he's just chasing me. He's just chasing me. The disruption only happens with the balls around, I think. No, no, no. This one is not as straightforward as the first one, I guess. Can I parry those? They don't follow me, though. That's usually a good time to do some. It's only because I'm using this lighter blade that I can do all that crazy stuff with... Oh. Okay, where am I getting the disruption from? The balls? Some am I running into the balls? See, there's some time here I can attack. Oh god, that disruption. At least it only gets me to half every time, I guess. Multiple. Some balls. Oh. That seemed new. I think it might be a better idea to stay close to him. Oh! What a shame, dying like that. So the moment we get hit, okay, we have to avoid the disruption balls. But that didn't seem like a bad start to me, phase two on the first attempt. But phase one was not the biggest of problems. Maybe I should have gotten that special resistance. <laughs> Hold up. Do it like that. Yeah, something like that, right? And then maybe we'll bring in another throwable, just in case. What is he weak against? 
Is he a carcass? Acid? I don't know, man. Just put something here. Sure. Fire? Could be fire. Fire. He, he puts too much distance between us, though. We need to... Close the gap. Let's go. Show me okay. everything you have. Pop it up to Mendo. Whoa, this is the first attack? Oh, damn. Okay. He's gonna do it again. One more, one more. Oh. I'm sort of forcing my way to be near him, but... Got lucky there. Oh! Gotta run faster for that one. Okay, if we block it... I'm just trying to see how much damage the, the attacks do. Is it better for us to dodge, or... Should we guard? At least I'm pretty sure we can do an R2 pretty reliably after that one. I honestly think blocking is completely viable. Non-parrying. Just because the damage being done is not that much. I usually try to go for parries, but maybe it's okay to just go for guards. See, I got all of that HP back. We can do it with an R2. I need to learn his attacks. The next evolution is coming. A world of truth, not lies. Thrust? Forward thrust, yes. And then a, a backhanded one. Right. More! It kind of links into different attacks. But the thing about staying too close for this one is that he might do that disruption thing. Which I think he's inclined to start with, actually. Oh, wow, okay. Woo! That's a multiple hit. Okay, there's a lot going on. We have to avoid the ground. We have to avoid the hits. Oh, no, that's not good. What the hell is that thing? What is that? On the ground. It just stays for a while. Damn. At least we're seeing his moves or something, I guess. If we block it, the damage is not that much. You see? Oh, no! Stop. Oh, horrible spot to use the Fable Arts. The tell... The glowing arm starts preparing. That's the tell for the disruption, I think. Hold up, hold up. Whoa! Okay, you can avoid the blasts. The... The disruption blasts. They're balls that end up behind us, and then we just have to outrun it. Oh, God. What? Oh, the, the place is rumbling. Whoa! What the hell is that? Oh my god. Oh my goodness. Okay, hit that hand comes down every now and then. They don't follow. You just have to not be at the same spot you were at originally. It's good to know. I 
I'm not even attacking him. I'm just trying to... Thanks! Oh. Oh! Whoa, what the hell? Oh! Ow, ow. Walked into some AoE thing. Duh! I'm done, I'm done. I spent a lot of time kiting him around this time. It kind of looks like that's a viable strategy if we had more pulse cells. I feel like we have to stay away from him for a lot though because there's a lot of stuff happening there. That hand thingy coming down from above and whatnot. You face god-like power. Your time is running out. So is yours. I'm just gonna spend a second here. Whoa. Ah! Now I don't have time to attack him when he's doing that. I again? Here? R2. Oh, not good, not good. No, another one! That wind attack. That wavy attack is kind of... Oh! Oh, I got a... Okay, that attack, it spawns these things right below me. Three of them. One, two, three. And then we gotta block his swings, too. This feels really chaotic. Like, I, I'm having trouble seeing where the timings to do punishes are. He is quite fast. Kind of unpredictable, because sometimes I'll turn around and stuff. But that was probably a good moment there. He was taking a break and all. Okay, we gotta run. Missed that last one. Oh! That finger coming down? There's a whole AoE around that. I keep trying to do an... No! Oh my god, that finger. Constantly gotta get away from him. Oh my god! Oh no, I can't get- <laughs> There's just so much stuff that we have to avoid. Like, I constant- I can't even get near him because I have to be aware to get away from the, the AoE stuff. This is insane. Okay, that was the closest I got, but it was, um, the pacing of this battle is a little bit different from before. We have to do a lot of kiting around. Being impatient is a very, very bad thing here. We just have to, it's endurance. We have to be willing to bide our time. You know what? I'm not even using my Legion on that much. I'm actually going to switch to the Pandemonium. On the off chance that it does a little bit more. 
If the weight is not an issue, which it isn't. All right. I feel like, judging by how close that one was, you have to wait for the right moment to go in with the Fable Arts, or... I don't know if we can stagger him. I haven't seen him get staggered yet, but... Patience. This is a round of patience. Everything you have, He's gonna pull back. Yep. It's okay to block. It's not the best, but it's not gonna kill us to block. Surprisingly, despite how big he is. Look. Got back all the HP already. Would be nice if we could get those parries, but yeah. Stay to his side. Maybe that's a good method, too. I find that trying to parry, it's hurting me more. Because sometimes I miss the block entirely. Got lucky there. Pause for a second. Oh, come on. I'm gonna grind a little bit. Good start. We have 10 pulse cells. Run around? I'm just gonna wait till the run around is done. There we go. He has two hands now. get the timing on that second one. Okay. One. Two. Oh, see, we gotta watch out to dodge that, even while we're dodging the AoEs. Oh, oh, shit! That was really bad. Make sure not to happen again. Okay. Same strategy, okay? Let's try to block more than parry. I think it works the same way, similarly. That wind is kind of annoying. 
Now, I have Fable Arts, but I'm gonna wait until a moment when I know he's not gonna avoid me, like... Like right now. That was a good moment. Now what? Oh god! One. Two! Oh, frick. He's gonna do it again. This reach is incredible. He's gonna swing. Oh no, 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 no. I can't assume that I'll just be too far and then he won't be able to reach me, because he will. I gotta go again. It's time to go! His hand! Oh, now I gotta go. Oh, I got lucky there. Okay, I gotta keep running after that. AoE, I, I knew I was in it. I just wasn't very good about... Oh, we can avoid the wind directly by dodging. I see, I see. I'm gonna try to wait for my pulse cell to come back if I can. I don't know if I can. Ah! Okay, that's a really easy moment to punish. Go! It's time to go! It's time to go! How 
How am I alive? Got really nervous towards the end there. Boom! Same technique as Lazaxia. I never got him staggered, but the, the shot puts were nice to throw. Uh, the acid canisters, I think I tried throwing it once, but it just landed on the ground. It wasn't like a throwing thing. It was more like a put the thing on the ground kind of thing. Okay, this one took me less than Lazaxia. So, it comes to this. The blue fairy, Sophia, decides the winner. Truly, I envy you. The puppet my Sophia keeps turning back time to save. Mm. Is it her sense of duty? Or her contempt for me? Or does she truly care for you? I gave up predicting Sophia's actions long ago. But I'd like to hear your thoughts. Sophia, what have you done to her? These are both true. I gave her peace. Yes, I suppose that was her wish. Sophia was always wise beyond her years. Knowing the truth of people's minds is a curse. I would not have been able to bear it if it weren't for Sophia. Her pure heart was a tonic for my pain. That's why I wanted her. I did. But I couldn't have her in the end. So I tried to use this hour to hold her. <laughs> My pulse off. These hands never could. It's fine if I'm gone. But be warned. Watch out for Chipetto. I suppose now we have to deal with father and all that. Well, this one, mm, two things, I think two key things for me was realizing that guarding is okay. He's huge, he looks like he hits hard. But whenever I try to perfect parry, mm, maybe his weapon, like his horizontal swing, unlike Lazaxia, I felt it was harder to parry for me. So I resorting to guarding was just simply easier. You don't have to parry. And then number two was realizing that it's... This battle, the pacing of this battle means that you have to be patient because he's always doing that like finger from the sky or shooting you lasers or all sorts of things that move you away from Simon. And if you try to disrespect that, then you'll end up having to deal with multiple things at the same time. You'll have to deal with the thing that's trying to um, distract you plus him at the same time. So we had to constantly run around, wait for the right time when he's not doing anything else to try to get at him. Although I would say that I... I don't think I really stayed here long enough to really understand his rhythm fully in terms of his swings and when to punish him, but yeah, it was it was okay as long as you stayed away. I think the main thing was staying away from the AoE and the, all the random crap coming out of the sky and whatnot. Making sure that we don't get hit by multiple things at the same time. Oh, Simon. Well, I suppose your plan for human evolution has failed. Or has it? Hmm, my gold coin tree is not even done yet. Okay. Do we go back to the hotel now? I didn't see a way to continue here. Was there a way, or do you want me to go back to where Geppetto was? No, oh, it's a pretty empty arena to me. Arm of God. 
the arm of God obtained after defeating Simon Manus. It is a mysterious relic that the alchemists treated as a sacred object. The alchemists believe that there was once a god who was ripped to shreds trying to give immortal life to the humans he loves, he so loved, and they wanted to revive him. However, the god who was deep in sleep never answered their prayers. <sighs> Would God have approved of everything you were trying to do? I don't know. The Ergo. He was so far gone, we got Ergo from him. Fallen one's Ergo. The boy was among those who were made to live an immortal life. However, he was deemed a failure and abandoned, and then he set out on a journey to become a god to prove himself. How did that turn out for you? Alright. I think we can fast travel to the previous Stargazer. I mean, we defeated the big baddie, but... Uh, we stopped Geppetto. Let's not be caught off guard and all that. Nice and simple. Oh! That's right, there was a glowing thingy here. Missed it entirely. Or Boris. And then some miscellaneous alchemical looking symbols. Now him! He really scared me. A human becoming a god? Terrifying. But a puppet becoming a human? Now you have my attention. Suit yourself, but it sounds fun to me. I wonder... What'll happen now? I sure don't know. But I do know one thing. You're stuck with me. And I'm stuck with you, pal. Wouldn't have it any other way. All I have to do is take off the lamp and smash it. So I'd be careful if I were you, buddy. <laughs> I want to change my outfit. Maybe after this ride? Oh my god, how far down are we going? The shirt that started it all. The old man was thorough when it came to his son's clothes in anticipation of the rarest of disasters. Although I'm very different looking now. Long hair, gray hair. Not quite the young boy I used to be. Oh no. <laughs> Look at this arena. We just had one. Are you serious? Just had one, my dude. This looks like a boss arena. Oh god. I knew you could do it. We have all the ingredients we need. I dreamed of this day for so long. The moment you'd come back to life. You can be human again. By using that vast supply of ergo and the arm of god. I just need the final ingredient. The one that holds your memories and your lifespan. Your heart. If you give me your heart, all these trials and tribulations will be over. You have been a brilliant and a good boy. As your uh. reward, I shall turn you into a real boy. Give me your heart, son. I don't think I will. That'll be a no. I believed you were a good boy. But you insist on breaking my heart. Well, I suppose Carlo was mischievous. It seems you inherited his personality instead of his memories. But a father always looks after his children. Even naughty ones that must be punished, like you. In my own way, I grew to love you. 
After all, you're the puppet who would bring my son back to life. I am my own person, father. I'm disappointed in you. I didn't mean for this to happen. I believed you were a good boy. If you refuse, then I'll have to retrieve it myself. Oh, he's taking off the kid gloves. What? Ooh. My son. I guess he's not fighting me himself personally. That would have been something. You're a puppet too. You can become a real human. Come to me, my son. Why don't I just cut your strings? I don't think acid will work well for this guy. I never bound you to the Grand Covenant like the other puppets because of Carlo's memories within you. Look at his HP bar. We did 26 damage and it's already like a huge chunk. Straight. You troublesome little puppet. God, we have another phase two, don't we? Your freedom is not for you. I break your damn sword. He's fast. No father wants to resort to the lash. But there's no other way. Oh. If you can't find those memories, I'll make you into a real human myself. Two long strikes. Ow. How am I not just gonna cut, just cut his damn strings, dude? Oh! Let's go, let's go! What was that? Uh, no, whoa! Hold up, hold up. If only I had spent more time with you. If only I had read you your favorite book. Father to son. Can you just be quiet, please, Geppetto? You're kind of distracting me. Forgive me, Carlo. Please regain your memories. Is this supposed to be like the new shell that he was gonna put Carlo into or something? Like my heart? My heart emphasis on me. You break Two strikes. My heart, son. Come back. Boom! Boom! I'm not parrying any of this. See, there's a delay on these attacks, unlike Lazaxia's second stage. So as long as we learn it later, I have to learn the timings. Still getting me from that far. I don't imagine I'll be breaking your sword anytime soon. You can't do that! That's cheating! What do you mean I've been doing that to everybody throughout the entire game? I can do it, you can't! Well, my sword is breaking, by the way. I don't have time for this. Now, we might need to use the Vanini Urgent Repair Tool for this one. Two, two! Yeah, look, my sword is... This is a problem. Uh. 
So after that, we can punish. Two, four strikes, four strikes. He has no face. Corrupted puppetness. Oh, why is that sword glowing? I don't like that. Okay, my How durability. You. You're just a puppet. Nothing more. Boom, boom. Okay, that's a lot of stuff we gotta parry. He creates distance as well. Whoa! Oh. Huge swings. Okay, but damage-wise, he's taking quite a... Okay. Is he gonna keep talking throughout the whole battle? That's gonna be a problem with me, to be honest. Let's practice. This time... Oh, I can give up and give my heart. I don't think I will, at least not now. I'll, I'll make a save here or something. Um, let's see. I was thinking, for someone like you... Oh, I feel like electricity might be better for him here. I'll do Aegis for now. Oh, wait, I'm too heavy. Shoot. Shoot, in that case... Full minis. We can try it out. How are my amulets and stuff looking? I'm pretty happy with this right now, but if I can get more... Hmm, he doesn't seem to apply a status, not as far as I've seen. Guess we'll just have to go in and try it out. Parrying. Parrying. It's gonna be the name of the game today. You can become a real human. Come to me, my son. Okay, even I'm if I don't parry, guarding is still good. Like because of Carlos bum, bum. You. Mm -mm -mm -mm. If I break his sword in first phase, will it stay in the second phase? Because this phase is a lot easier, so if we can break it and like have it keep, that might be a pretty good plan. Your freedom is not for you, for Carlo. Three. I'm doing better with the parrying this time. No father wants to resort to the lash. But there's no But again, it might be like a maybe let's at least I have to parry that one properly. Oh, that's just the sign of him breaking down, I see. If you can't find it, please, I'll make you into a real human myself. I think durability, keeping it up high, will be a thing. If only I had spent more time with you. If only I had read you your favorite book. Father to son. Two. Two there. Forgive me, Carlo. Extra shots in. You 
That was so bad. Come back to my arms. Come back to me, Carlo. I keep trying to dodge that, but it's not really possible. I mean, it is possible, but I prefer the timing for parrying, probably. Two? Three? Four? One? Mm. One? Two? One? Two? Three, four. One, two. Now here comes the problem, How right? Dare you. You're just a puppet. Nothing more. Oh, all right, that's new. That is new. Not sure how he missed me there. So this is definitely differently paced from the previous battle. Oh no! Oh, this is like Lazaxia. God, you don't even have a mouth. Don't even look at me. Oh. Right, same as Lazaxia with the electric shock. At least with these sword swings, it's much clearer to me when to punish. After the end of his combo, right? Pretty clear. Don't know if I should be using Wish Stones as early. I don't want to waste an attempt, though. The timing for that one, my god. The timing for that one will depend on how far away he is, too, which is kind of crazy. Oh! He has that one in the first phase as well. But it's extended this time. Alright. Very fast. But... I don't feel horrible about it right now. We'll be fine. You can become a real human. Come to me, my son. Bound you to the Grand Covenant and the other puppets because of Carlo's memories within you. I knew you had gone astray. You troublesome little puppet. Your freedom is not for you, but for Carlo. Electricity seems to be working well for the grinder. What is not working well is me constantly missing my no fable attacks. There's no other way. Okay, we're doing... Hmm, I think we're getting his moves down much better already. If you can't find those memories, we can do an R2 here before hitting him. Myself. No! Quit that. I'm gonna say that he just messes me over more than it does him, I think. Because he doesn't stop, he doesn't get staggered. If 
If only I had spent more time with you. If only I had read you your favorite book. Father. Two. Three, four. Forgive me, Carlo. What? That was a bit of a waste. How dare you? You're just a puppet. Nothing more. Can I still grind? I can't, I can't. There's a bug where it says that I can grind, but I can't because I already used it in first stage. I just have to move away a little bit for that one. Okay, one, two, one, two, one, two, three. Oh. Ah. Oh. That one would be a guard might be good here. Go, 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 go. Move away. I could have done Fable Arts here, I think. One. One. Uh oh. No skewering. <laughs> Being really risky here by doing that. Seems like a new attack. I'm not dealing with this. Oh my god. <laughs> Third try! Third try! Doesn't know how to think.
Even a puppet can cry, huh? I'm... Sorry. If only you had realized that your your son was standing right in front of you the whole time. The blue fairy. Now what? We're free. I want to talk about that fight just now, but they're like doing story stuff, <laughs> so I gotta hold back. Oh my god. Is that Sophia? Oh! What? Oh, it's um the the Saintis statue. It's so good to see you. In honor of the great writer Carlo Collodi, who, as I understand it, is the, the person who created Pinocchio. Okay. I have things to say about that fight just now. Wow, that was... I... Mm. Well, I mean, towards the end there, I, I did start seeing his health was low, so I just... <laughs> I loaded up on throwable stuff in my quick slots just in case, because I was like, well, there's no, there's no status ailments in this battle, right? So might as well just in case, and you know what? Paid off. Paid off. <laughs> All three of the last battles here, that last little bit was my shot puts. Uh, eh, makes up for me barely using any of that the whole game, I guess. Uh, that last attempt there, I did end up switching my layouts a little bit. I currency-tized all of my Ergo Crystals to get one more level up for capacity, so that I could wield the Aegis without having a capacity penalty. So that's why I was using the Aegis again, although I don't think it really helped that much. But yeah, parrying was the name of the game there. I honestly didn't get to see his moves that well to really comment on this battle from like a more a design perspective, even though I'm not like an expert or anything, but definitely different rhythm than the Simon Manus fight because that one was way more about biding your time, this one was about reacting to the parries. It's more similar to the King of Puppets, I think. And maybe because it's been a while since we've, se we've seen King of Puppets already, but I got a lot better. I understood the game more from that point on forward, I guess. Especially the whole R2, R1 business. And I think that's probably what made it easier for me, uh, uh, even up until the very end here. The boss I had the most trouble with was probably King of Puppets. The last three bosses we had all in a row here, Lazaxia, Simon Manus, and Nameless Puppet, had the most trouble with them in the order they appear in. So Lazaxia number one, Simon number two, Nameless Puppet number three. I actually did all three of them in the same day too, so I'm feeling pretty good right about now. Of all the bosses I've seen so far, probably Lazaxia is my favorite boss in the whole thing. I talked a lot about how, you know, the there's some differences in the bosses and that some of them have the whole delayed attack where they telegraph it very well, but then the timing just doesn't seem quite natural. Whereas Lazaxia was much more reflexes based. I think I'm still at the point where I prefer the reflexes based ones because it does feel really good when you do get the the timing for the reflexes. I didn't get a successful parry in often whenever she rushed towards me after the lightning ball stuff, but whenever I did do it, it felt really good. And I feel like of the whole game of all the bosses, that was the only boss that really gave me that sort of feeling. So yeah, I, I really liked it. Ah, oh, you know the world's gone insane when Wellens is talking more about some boss fight over whatever happened in the, the story here. <laughs> the, the ending! 
It looks like what happened was we put Sophia's essence into a new puppet body or something. And then that whole scene was definitely mimicking the statue that we saw before in the Grand Exhibition. And since we spent the whole game trying to say, you know, puppets deserve rights too... Actually, instead of just outright killing Sophia, we did end up freeing her. Because now she's like in a different body and... Maybe she can continue on like that. Like she is actually free. As opposed to being like a death is my sweet release kind of free. What about me though? We sort of just fainted in her arms because we have to recreate that whole statue scene, but... It's not like we gave our life for her, right? I hope not. Hmm. Yeah, her situation right now is kind of like mine. We are both puppets, but we're also more than just... Just some... Parts, limbs stuck together. Although if you really want to take it one step further, I feel like... Well, if you put the Ergo in a new body, is that really still the original person anymore? Like, am I Carlo? I'm not really Carlo, right? I'm Pinocchio. So that new Sophia puppet... Maybe it's a brand new person, it's not Sophia anymore. Even though she would technically have all of her memories and all that. Do we have any more? I have a final report on the Crot experiment. You certainly took your time, Paracelsus. You're finding- Jangio? I think we have a new brother. A new type of humanity, so to speak. There are many forms of eternal life. It's intriguing and worth further observation. Noted. And um, we'll have to get his arm back anyway. <laughs> I'm counting on it. Expect another report at the next meeting. Paracelsus returning. Ah, and when I return, I will find her. For sure, another key of ours, Dorothy. Dorothy? Paracelsus? The arm of God? Wait, you mean like Wizard of Oz, Dorothy? I actually don't know that story that well either. <laughs> if you stay on this channel long enough, you start realizing this, um, not knowing Western stories is a constant problem that comes up, but um, okay, sounds like a tease for more content at the minimum. Not sure what it is exactly. Warning, if you start the next playthrough, you won't be able to continue. I I'm good, I'm good, thanks. Do you wish to continue? That's worded a little bit ambiguously. I do not wish to start a new playthrough. So I, I don't want to continue, I guess. You're not going to make me immediately start a new playthrough after I just finished this one. Are you? Oh, I guess I'm okay after all. Oh, did you like... Put me... Oh, first of all. First of all. <gasps> Nameless Puppets Ergo. The nameless puppet was the first puppet made by the old man that was mounted with a pea organ. Its ergo efficiency was not just unremarkable, it was destructive. Thus the nameless puppet was not chosen for the boy's body and sealed away. Destructive nearly killed Carlo's heart. That's how bad it was. Damn. Is that it then? I guess we can look at what we can trade it for. Hey. You have been such a great help to Master Vanini. I will do my best to be of assistance in return. Thank you. Thank you. This great disaster, the Krat Crisis, has left no one unaffected. But it's over now. Thanks to you. We are all in pain. We're all hurting. But now it's time to begin healing. I will do everything I can to help. Together, compagno, I think we really can make Krat... Great, again. If not the entire world, a better place. Oh, okay, that too. 
You're always welcome here, friend. How can I help? We've all lost a lot. We've both lost our parents at this point. It's like we're matching lost parents' buddies. So much has happened. It's bewildering. But it feels like there is hope. Even here in godforsaken Krat. It's all because of you. So thank you. Though I suspect you haven't told me everything. <laughs> Uh, you never told me your name either, about the whole Aladoro business. I just want safety for everyone at the hotel, at least. That's why I should make sure you're well armed. If you need anything, just ask. You should... you should do it without pay. I'm just saying. What kind of economy do we live in anyway? It's like freaking a disaster right now. If I die, you're all dead too. But these are complaints that should have been aired ages ago. My one regret is that I... I, I do understand that I didn't really fully engage in the whole handle system here. Oh, well, towards the end, I started using this acidic Great Curve Sword, plus the Great Sword of Fate handle, which is the only thing I really did with it, but yeah. There is so much weapon variety here that I never really explored too much. I am very much a, hey, if I find this thing works, why would I ever switch out? Especially in a higher stakes, you know, Souls-like kind of game, right? Because I wanna, I wanna win, I'm not here to play around, so... That's the, the mentality behind why it was kind of like, ah, holy sword, maybe like 70% of this playthrough. <laughs> I've made up my mind. I am going to keep living to honor Atkinson's sacrifice. Good. Someone needs to tell everyone out there what happened in Croc. I'm going to look for a way out again. Thanks for all your help. I hope Croc finds fortune soon. I've made up my mind. We should live on, which makes me a little bit worried about, um, Polandina, what about you? Are you still gonna be a puppet? Welcome to Hotel Krat. He really gave up. Because Antonia's gone and he has nothing else left. Well, that's a choice he made, I guess. Restart. No. You know what? I... Hmm. I was thinking about the Baron Swamp guy. We just sort of left him... Did we ever have to go back again? I don't know. Doesn't seem like it, though. Oh? That's bullshit, P. Regular humans take a million years to learn something like that. And yet you just do it because... Why do you know how to do that? Why do you... Arguably, something mechanical like playing a piano, wouldn't a puppet be better at it? But as we've become more human, we've gotten better at playing the piano because... Well, music... Mu this... Lies of P definitely tries to um, tie emotion... Oh my god! Emotion to music and pianos and all that. Hello, buddy. Ah! Yeah. Oh! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! <sighs> my heart is pounding. Oh! Ah, did I scare you? Oh! It's me, yes. Hugo. <laughs> This whole thing has inspired me. 
I'm going to try to be the Aladoro of a new generation. I will also keep looking for the relic's true owner. Check in with me anytime. A great weapon calls for a great... <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, no pronouncements aren't my thing. As always, prove that you're worthy. There's so much choice in weapons and amulets here. Extreme modification amulet increases weapon attack in proportion to number of able slots. The scrapped watchman was an experimental piece modified to the extreme to test how far Krat's engineering skills could go. The result was impressive, but ultimately came out of the cost. Wait. Oh, that was one of the first ones, was it? Broken Hero. Hold up, where are the new ones? Nameless Puppets Ergo. Piercing Hatred. Immunity to all attribute status ailments. Oh, wow. This would have been so good, probably for the Door Guardian fight. Yeah, and... Mm, most of the fights, though, if you get through them... I do get the sense that you're not really supposed to be getting any ailments attached to you at all. Like, the reason you do get them is because you missed blocking or you missed evading something. So I don't know how much this would actually help. For the Door Guardian, for sure, but everything else? Hmm. It is unknown whether the Nameless Puppet had an ego. This is because multiple cores holding concentrated ergo, ergo were used to boost its firepower. If this puppet could feel only one emotion, it would be hatred. Another one of my dad's experiments, I suppose. Fallen One's Ergo, this is Simon. Awaken God's Amulet, increase Fable Art's damage inflicted on staggered enemy. But towards the end here, I, spe I especially started feeling it, but whenever you get someone staggered, and then you do a fatal attack, that's huge amounts of damage. When God awakens, he will be like a bird who has just cracked open his shell. He will possess tremendous abilities that can change the world, yet be as innocent as a child. Among Simon Manus's sayings. Sure, I guess. Ooh, his weapon. Proof of humanity. Interesting. It's called Proof of Humanity. It's kind of rusted over. Link slash. Grind. A giant scissor blade used by the Nameless Puppet. It is a double-edged sword that can end one's freedom, or grant it by cutting the strings of manipulation. Puppets are tied to strings. Humans have cut their own strings. The boy made a choice and became human. Yep, the Nameless Puppet strings wasn't the only one I cut. Noblesse oblige. Consume ergo to deal big damage. No thank you. <laughs> No, thank you. A mystical cudgel made from an ergo crystal tree. While battering enemies, it emits spores, increasing the ergo acquisition rate. The stalker who desired wealth made a contract with the devil that liked music to gain a cudgel. <laughs> Along with this, he was gifted with overflowing ergo and the petrification disease. Oh, God. The devil that liked music, huh? These all seem kind of interesting. Hmm. I guess Aladoro's outfit is not hard to find. I thought you were shorter, though. A great weapon calls for a. <laughs> okay. Things aren't exactly the same here anymore. Polandina won't wake up. It's a choice he made himself. Janjio! Janjio, how are you, buddy? The tree hasn't even finished getting fruit yet. The wish stones, all the weapons. Oh! The Letter of the Eternal. I had a good time. It's amazing to see a new brother being born. I hope to meet you again sometime on the Eternal Line of Time. Oh, so that was Janjio, right? I thought it wasn't because he said a different name. What was the name? Paracelsus? Something Paracelsus. Or Paracelsus something. PP. He wasn't just a random alchemist then. Did he ever really even have petrification disease? Oh, wow. Technology of the future. Thank you for thinking of me. I can still buy stuff even though you're not here. Hey, in the end, I never got to see what a specter looked like. <laughs> oh, well. Okay. Well, thank you. Thank you for thinking of me.
Mm, this might be it. Hold on, though. I want to check my dad's room. In the in the very end, it seemed like he came to his senses, but too little, too late. Carlo, what would you think if you were still here? Mmm. The Blue Butterfly's Letter Thank you for giving me a new life. The fact that an ergo puppet can have a second life and become another kind of human requires more time for people to find out about it. Until then, I won't return to the hotel, but plan to stay at this place. The Krat disaster has stopped. Still, there is the aftermath of the petrification disease and the puppets. Please heal the wounds for the people. You're the reason we have our freedom. Thank you so much. I'm grateful you freed me from my puppet strings. People using her? You're welcome. I'm glad I could help. It looks like that might be it then. Hey, I was looking up to see if there were any little small things I missed throughout my playthrough. And back in the train car. Yeah, when we revisited it after it got invaded and attacked. I should have expected there would be more here because this seemed like too little. I have perfected the greatest puppet. Now that child again. And I guess for now we know that Geppetto, it's confirming that Geppetto wanted to make me to do all that stuff with the heart so that he could revive his son and all that. But beyond this, beyond this right here, you can see there's light behind. We are, yes, behind the train car where you woke up. Wait, what, what is this? Who would put a workshop like this here, of all places? Good grief. It's a portable workshop. Why wouldn't you put it in a train car? Damn, though, I guess Geppetto must have been rolling in the dough. He was doing a lot of research. Ooh, see? That kind of looks like the nameless puppet now, now that I look at it like that. Oh! Okay. Damn, you could do all that here? You mean I didn't need you, Jenny? Well, everything. Everything. You can craft stuff here as well. Wow. Geppetto really wasn't sharing. He just had all this in his little hidden compartment here. Whoa. They never really went into any detail on how a puppet really works, but it looks like there's some nervous system, like nerves and su nerve endings and all that. Ooh. Letter from someone who has gone on ahead. Dear Geppetto's puppet, who will come to this workshop train, I'm really thankful to you. A workshop train hidden by Geppetto. Isn't that something? If not you, how would I have found this place? Unfortunately for Geppetto, I have the ability to read someone's memories. In Malum District, I had a hunch. They thought that if they followed you, Geppetto's puppet, they'd find the relic he stole. And that hunch was right. The relic has been returned to our sacred place. Now that the stage is set, the doors will open. I know all this is confusing, but soon you'll learn everything. Thank you. You were a good guide. Simon Malice. I wish they, like, narratively, I wish they went into a little bit more detail about how this whole, like, oh, Simon Malice apparently can just read people's minds. <laughs> but it was sort of relegated to a few codexes. It's... Uh, I can explain a lot of things. Apparently they found this because of me. Oh, the relic. By the relic, do they mean that the whole arm of God thing? That Simon was using? Even, even Paracelsus was talking about it. What I have right now, right? Oh, a lot of brake cartridge. <laughs> this might have been more useful earlier, but... Oh well. <laughs> Yeah, it would have been helpful for something. Break? Break is the, the dog, the bear trap. Eh, okay, whatever. But the arm of God that now belongs to me. For now. Hmm. 
guess that's it for this workshop, though. Geppetto was just sort of hiding this whole thing here. Didn't even go, hey, son, you want to bring my stuff back to me? No, he just... He just left it here. Man, I still think there's something wrong with that tree swing animation. Either that, or Krat's just really windy. <laughs> somehow. Remember this gondola ride? Or I think it's a tram car, actually. It's like a... Yeah, it's a train car ride. Yeah, we took this. We went past somebody called the Atoned. And they were all like, Hello, stalker! Didn't think there were any of you left. And I was like, Haha, yeah, I'm a stalker! Show stalker sign. And then she let me through. But she warned me that it was going to be really dangerous up ahead. It was. But we cleared all that now. And if we come back here... Will the Atone still be here? Let's see. More importantly, will she have anything new to say to us? Hello. Please be safe up there. Oh. Please be safe up there. What? Oh! That's what I was expecting to happen. That That confused me for a second, because I, I thought it wasn't gonna happen based off what she said just now. And then I was thinking, did they account for me getting to the very end and turning to a human? Is that why she didn't call me up for being a puppet? But yeah, so apparently if you if we get past her by tricking her the first time around, we didn't really trick her, we just showed the stalker sign, that's all. Then you, if you come back, she'll get mad and attack you, like what she's doing right now. Of course, though, I don't think she will be any problem for us any longer. But we get an extra little boss fight out of it, which is nice. I actually like parrying a lot. It feels nice to see all the nice anim the, the shiny animations and all. And I'm not doing a very good job of it right now, but... Angel's wing. The one-winged angel, or so they say. Looks like you get an extra mask out of it. It's kind of cool. The Atone's mask. The dog mask worn by the Atoned. It reeks of regret from failing to save people. Instead of guiding people to refuge, she took them to the land of the dead. Oh, wow. Having fled from incomprehensible death, the stalker vowed to live the rest of her life in repentance. Oh, that's actually quite a bit of interesting lore then, because... Is that why she was so insistent on not letting people through? Yeah, because up here, it's the Path of Misery, which is the first place where we started seeing carcasses. So she led a lot of people there before, because the church is there. The church is beyond that point, and she thought, hey, I'm saving them. But then she realized she was sending them to their deaths, and... <sighs> that's why you're called the Atoned. Oh, not this one. <laughs> she disappeared already. Damn, I, I felt kind of bad for killing her, but I liked knowing this little bit of lore. Sorry. I <laughs> think I might have missed this area entirely back when we were... You know, it's the one area where we, there was a hole and we were kind of... It's in the Abbey. We saw our Arlequina over there, there was a lift, we died a little bit here, and then I, I think I ignored this room entirely. It looks like there is something that is more than what's ordinary here. I remember looking at this room, seeing the pressure plates, and then I just promptly forgot about it, probably because I died. Because I was trying to get my ergo back and all that. Although I don't suppose anything here now will be a problem now, will it? It shouldn't be. Who goes here? I defeated all of your bosses. In the Abbey already. Oh! Oh, hey, there's a pr Yeah, hey! Uh... He's huge! I I'm not going back. I am sick of consuming Ergo. It's cruel. There's real meals and real songs out there. I'm not just a memory-reading tool. W what? You're n not the inspector? But if you're from the outside, that means we can leave. Thanks. 
I know the way out, so don't worry about me. Maybe I'll see you on the outside. Happy. We were missing this gesture, which is sad because we need to be happy. We need to know to be happy. Great hardship gives you a taste of simple happiness. Is there any need to obstruct explosive joy? You're huge. Reading memories? God, what the hell were they doing to your ear? It's awful. I can read memories of Ergo. That's what I was made for. Made. Ergo is crystallized time and memory. But God, I hate having to consume Ergo to read it. Why does it work like that? It's the worst. Ooh. I can read memories, but I can't even dream of tastes, smells, or songs. I can't stand it anymore, so I'm escaping. When I get out, I'm going straight to Rosa Isabel Street. Do you want me to meet you there? I can read memories of Ergo. Oh, maybe if we came here earlier, he would say some other stuff. <laughs> they need to change their security up. Now, this would have been good to know earlier, a little earlier for lore reasons too. Reading Ergo. Oh, and then this is a way back to the front. I see. Am I really gonna see you at Rosa Isabel Street? He really is here. Hey! Um, over here! Hey! Oh god, place is still burning. Nice to see you again. I thought if I got a second chance, I'd go to where my heart's content. I never expected to get out alive. Oh, it's overwhelming, even now. Want to take a look at what I have? I grabbed a couple of things before taking off. It's a new life, a new attitude, and simple pleasures like ordinary conversation. Nice loot, yeah? If you need anything, just say the word. Oh, he's a nice merchant, dude. It would have been nice to see this beforehand. What do you have? Ooh, carcass crystal axe blade and handle. Oh, there's a uniform here. <gasps> White ladies hunting apparel. The woman who lost her song adorned her stage with the blood of puppets. The sisters dreamed of a great stage. Their dreams now crushed. The younger one dedicated a stage in remembrance of her sister with the blood of puppets. Yes, but she doesn't know that the real tragedy is that she doesn't realize that the reason why she became a stalker and all that was because of her sister to begin with. Jealousy. Look at what jealousy does to people. Oh, an acidic weapon. This might have been good. Hmm. An experimental axe blade made by the alchemists. Carcass body fluid constantly oozes out from the rear canister. The alchemists achieve the brilliant truth that they desired. However, their achievements were sometimes made on the flesh and blood of humans. Uh, sometimes, just sometimes. It's not like we killed a whole bunch of people, like a million people more like. The handle is equipped with additional weight to make it easy to control the heavy blade. The inhumanity of the obsessive research by the alchemists caused an internal revolt. Some among them fled the organization and decided to expose the truth to the world. Buy just to have a collection, sure. Why did you come here? I used to be a fan of the actress Patricia. Not the red actress Adelina, but her sister. Patricia had an angelic voice like her sister. If she'd become famous, they would have called her the White Goddess. Uh, but her career was cut short. She took poison and ruined her throat. I've only read others' memories, so I, I don't know the details. Not but on the purpose. the memories people had of her songs. You should have heard her voice in her prime. Something transcendent like that. It makes you feel alive. I survived. So I'm seeking out experiences like that. So, any more questions? Being able to read people's memories, it sounds like you can feel their emotions and stuff too, which is potentially pretty potent. Because when we communicate as normal people, we talk to each other, and there's a limit to how good you can be at communication. Like Some people, they might be really good at things, but they can't explain it well. But if you can just access it like that, then it's, it's like you're getting a more pure version of the events, of the feelings they felt. What did you see? Did I go sightseeing? You bet I did. It's the heart of Krat. The theater, the Ferris wheel, there's so much to see. Ah. Uh. Although, <laughs> most of it has 
burned down now, I suppose. Hmm. The most fascinating thing. I couldn't believe it. The writing on the back of a made puppet. I read memories, but still, any way you look at it, it's the made puppet's words. Probably designed like that. What kind of puppet would write that stuff? Still, it was weird. You should see it for yourself. Are you actually telling me to go see it for myself? Hmm. All right. Nice loot, yeah? If you need anything, just say the word. Yeah, sure, I I'm good. Thanks. Thanks for offering. W where is your maid puppet? Did I go sightseeing? It's the home. Hmm. I read memories, but still. Probably designed like still. Are you just saying that? Oh. Her body fell down. It's readable now. Oh. We thought we were lying, but it was the truth. It's not on her back. I thought they meant the writing was on her back directly. No, it was the um, the maid puppet that was going to get married to Mr. J. Oh. Damn. But a puppet? Why does a puppet cease to function? We don't really know the specifics. I'm just wondering if it's possible to revive a puppet? Does it just need new batteries, new components? No. Is it a soul? How does it gain a soul? Without the ergo, it's... We can't revive them. One very last thing here, I believe. That gesture we got. Happiness. Great way to end it off! Hello, my only friend. What did you come to tell me? Sorry, I nearly missed this, but I'm here to teach you about happiness. It feels good. Like being hugged by the sun. <laughs> it is a brilliant feeling. Like the start of spring. Thanks. You're welcome. That's a great way to end off this chain and Lies of P in general, teaching someone about happiness. Ain't that pretty good? Although I wish we could do a little bit more for him. He's just sort of sitting here. Wait, did you have more? I think I've learned something about humans. If I make human friends someday, I'll tell you. You may not always be my only friend, but you'll always be my first friend. I don't want to be your only friend. Oh, damn you! I should have... should have done this earlier. <laughs> it wouldn't have changed too much in terms of the p organ stuff, but... You know what? Thank you. If I make human friends someday, I'll tell you not always be my own. I don't want to be your only friend. I only want to be your first friend. I hope you make lots of friends in the future. Okay, that's a... You know, teaching others about happiness. Coming to terms with puppets being somewhat sentient and stuff. Great way to end this off, I think. At least for this ending. But if we roll back a little bit, there were points that made it so that this story could have ended differently. Let's check it out. Realized I forgot to try wearing the white lady's outfit, so here it is. Although it looks a little bit strange with my gray hair. Not the best color coordination. What if we just give our heart? We look alike. In a bad way. Oh! Wow. Nameless puppet gets it. But not so nameless this time.
Oh, but this isn't. Arise. Yeah, that's not. I've never seen my boy crack a smile before. That's not. That's not our boy. This finally feels like family. Thank you for returning. <gasps> What? Is this truly the future you wanted? Did he murder everyone at the hotel? Why? What the hell? Skip, skip! Another key of ours. Dorothy. His demeanor is completely different than when he was Janjo. It was a front the whole time, a lie. <laughs> also the lies of P, lies of Paracelsus. But the, the new type of humanity thing, that also refers to... Carlo then, I guess? What? So that was a nameless puppet? But the real me died. How am I allowed to still keep playing? Oh! <gasps> oh my god! What? <laughs> I mean, you were already a puppet to begin with, but you look... You look worse. Your wish is my command, Sir Carlo. <gasps> what would you like to do? Oh my god. Sir Carlo! Benini. Your wish is my command, Sir Carlo. What would you like to do? Oh, this isn't just a, a one-time thing. It's more like the the puppet ascension is happening. Welcome, Sir Carlo. What would you like to do? <gasps> yeah, we can still do everything, but like this, they can't even make puppets like me either. I mean, at least I have skin and stuff, but these are all just puppets. Your wish is my command, Sir Carlo. What would you like to do? And we don't have Bell. Bell is just doing whatever. Can we play the piano? Do we want to play the piano? Automatically changed me back to the original shirt, too. Who are we playing this for? Who are we playing for? Who do we play for? Oh my goodness. It's somehow very morbid. They even bothered making the... the dog head. Your wish is my command, Sir Carlo. What would you like to do? No, no, no. Everyone just says the same stuff. They're even more robot-like than before. This is a step down in evolution. It really is. Does Paracelsus leave the same note here? The time is always just going to be unknown now, huh? Yeah, you had a good time. It's amazing to see a new brother being born. Let's meet again sometime on the eternal line of time. Okay. Eternal line of time. This guy almost makes himself sound like some kind of a dimensional hopper. Kind of freaky. And he was the one super meek guy the whole time too. All we know about him is that he's an alchemist. And that he was petrifying. Was he even really petrifying then? Or was that all just an excuse to do a whole bunch of crap? Oh, no. Geppetto's letter. Thank you for coming back to me, Carlo. I no longer bear a grudge. Now that you're back, my life is rosy. To make you happy, I plan to stabilize Grot. 
I suppose getting the puppets and the petrification disease under better control will turn the city back to normal. And he can do that, because it was all him all along. Remember, you have to be careful with your body. Even though you're an organism, you react to ergo. Maybe it's because that artifact was one of the materials. Still, you came back, and that's what matters. No matter what others say, you're my son. No one will be in our way anymore. I'll rebuild Kra for you. Until then, please stay safe in the hotel. Your father, who cares about you more than anyone. Yeah, we might look the same, but we're definitely not the same person anymore. Oh, this is... I don't like classifying endings into good and bad and all that, that black and white. But if there ever were such a classification, this is pretty definitively a not desirable outcome, I would say. Yeah, I, I think that that much is pretty clear. Oh. What will you do? You have to decide. You, not me. Keep her alive, perhaps against her wishes, or... Or give her peace. It's your call. It looks like there is another ending here, but we have to go back to where we made the choice for Sophia. I really can't see myself ever doing this, so this is really just for exploration of endings. Help me. My energy is... Sophia, I can't seem to make contact, but I can still sense her. You're right. I think... There could be other ways to save Sophia. Let's... Let's keep going. Oh my god, we just... Wow, my heart pounds here still? Really? Yeah, it looks like there's two different ways to trigger this ending. Either we consciously decide to let her live, or... We try to give her peace, but we're not human enough. Because we haven't been making those human choices throughout. We have been though, and you know, if, in order to get that part, I would have to restart from the beginning again, so I'm not gonna do that. Instead, I'm just gonna choose to leave her be, which I feel like is definitively not the right choice. I don't know what Gemini is on. And then we just now continue the game again, Aziz, until the ending. So notably here, my hair never turned gray because I never gave Sophia peace. It's still been black. Which can't be the only difference. Where are you going to destroy Carlo's heart? I'm even wearing Carlo's boarding school outfit. Oh. Because I guess, yeah, yeah, that's basically saying not giving Sophia peace is the wrong thing. Because if you're a human, you would recognize that she's suffering so much. And there's no reason for you to not give her peace. But that part isn't actually directly tied to what happens with Geppetto and the Nameless Puppet here. Maybe he knows about that somehow? Okay, I, I, I think that makes sense. Damn, that kind of hurts though. And we don't get the... Um, the scene with the statue and P being free. At least everyone's still alive, though. That counts for something, right? But we probably won't get that letter from Sophia. Oh, I never realized how handsome you were until after seeing that puppet version. The crappy puppet version of you. You have been such a great help to us. 
Yeah. This great disaster. We are all in pain. I will do everything I can to help. Do you still have money and stuff? Can you help Krat rebuild? We can make Krat so great much again. So happened, but it's all because of you. Yeah. Not everyone needs to know every little thing. I think it's fine. I've made up my mind. I am someone needs to tell everyone. Thanks else. for all your help. Good, good. I still feel a little Welcome bit eh, about Colandina, but that's the way that happens. Yeah, there's no letter waiting for me, no one thanking me because why would anybody? I've just been a puppet the whole time. Mmm, this isn't exactly great either. Okay, well, at least I'm glad to see that we got a... Probably a nicer conclusion for everybody the first time around. One last thing I wanted to touch upon before we end off here was the secret puppet language, quote-unquote secret language that showed up in the beginning. It didn't really come up again later on because we started fighting carcasses and stuff, but remember in the beginning when the main focus was still the puppet frenzy, a lot of the puppet bosses that we fought, they would have these cryptic lines that played whenever we were fighting them. It looks like the intention is supposed to be... You know how at the end, we got this decoder thing from Vanini. You're supposed to take it into New Game Plus, and then fight all the bosses again, and then see the dialogue decoded that way. But actually, if you look closely, it's readable English, but in just a weird font. Thought it might be nice for us to take a look at some of this together, but if you're planning on exploring New Game Plus for this game, then, you know, maybe this is something you want to save for your own time. Definitely feel free to skip this section. The Parade Master. They said stuff like, Come on in, we've been waiting. Finally, a guest is here. Kick this party into gear. Discipline will do the trick. Bad children get the stick. <laughs> that rhymes. Now he shall be happy. Now off to our toyland. Oh, the king is celebrating. Huh. This actually still sounds pretty damn demented. <laughs> Even though the puppet frenzy wasn't really as much of a frenzy as we thought it was. You could have given the king a real festival. How unfortunate and charming carriage was waiting for you. Oh, you're just in time. Listen, do you hear the carriage that's come for you? Oh, all right. The scrapped watchman. Children. This is the police puppet that got the commission because he wasn't working properly. Children, frozen, abandoned by you. I avenge my friends. I miss the whistle. I don't hear it anymore. Oh, remember we had that side quest with a whistle? You're all guilty. I'll punish you. Electric judgment. You're guilty. Ah, my back is hot. <laughs> I'm exploding. Freezing, cold, like my friends. Zach, Sophie, Eric, Toma. Mm. Yeah, the scrap watchman was the, the one that was friends with the local kids. King's Flame Fuoco. Learn his ways, join us. Join our mission, join the purge. Spread the flames, burn the impure. Don't forget, brother, you're one of us. It's actually kind of interesting because, yeah, we are one of them. The whole time we were a puppet, we were fighting against puppets. And for the puppets that have some kind of sentience, I, I do wonder how they feel about that. As it turns out, probably not too great. Oh, king, my king, we need a bigger flame. My flames, oh, my king. We fight for humans, why can't you see it? Worship the king of puppets, praise to him. We fight for humans, why can't you see it? Interesting. The king of puppets, like, I don't understand the mechanics by which the king of puppets became the king. It, they just, it, it just sort of was, right? But this guy, for some reason, all the other puppets just listen to him. Do they really? Because they have to follow the Grand Covenant at the end of the day, so maybe they don't really listen to him directly. King of Puppets, I was wondering when you'd show up. You sure kept me waiting. Pity we have to meet like this, though. Come on, don't be silly. You're wrong, listen up. The whole place is teeming with monsters, of course. We have to stop them. You have to stop them. Lives are on the line. We're ending all this destruction. The real enemy is... I have to kill you to stop it all. There's no other way. I'm burning up. It's all going up in flames. Bright white flames. And then when you kill him, Maybe this is what real freedom feels like. Thanks, Carlo. And this one is especially sad because Carlo and Romeo were best friends and all that. The laws of the Grand Covenant bind us. We're his puppets. It's gonna be okay. As long as I'm at your side, Carlo. Who's the puppet? 
you or me. Damn. If we had paid closer attention to this, this would have been interesting. This would have been interesting to know earlier on. There was also one non-boss monster line. This is back when we were entering the cathedral, and it says the king wishes to eradicate all monsters born of the petrification disease. Protect the humans, so says the king. Yeah, this line would have been kind of crazy to know in advance, because then you know that oh, actually, it's not it's not just the mindless puppet frenzy. No, they were specifically targeting the people with petrification disease. They were trying to protect the people, apparently. But I also feel like this is something that could have been noticed easily because they wouldn't have been indiscriminately attacking humans then, right? But yet, the sense we got looking around was that they did attack non-petrified humans too. Because the corpses that we saw on the ground, it wasn't all petrified. So I don't know what's going on there, but... Yeah, like in a nutshell, this whole thing was what? Alchemists were trying to ascend humans, so they made them go through petrification disease, and then Geppetto ordered the puppet frenzy, which actually was the puppet stopping the petrification disease, but then he wasn't doing it because he was nice, he was only doing it because he wanted to revive his son Carlo. Surprisingly, there's a good bit of a chain reaction sort of thing going on here. The very basic form of the story with, you know, ergo equals people equals this is how we make puppets, I think is understandable and simple enough, but the details probably could benefit from a second or third playthrough, which is, I think, the way they've laid it out here, too. They add incentives for you to go through it again. For me personally, that's a bit too much of a time investment, but I, I appreciate that they, they do that. And yeah, there you have it, Lies of P. I enjoyed it. Yeah, it was fun. I think it's probably the most fun I've had with gameplay, something gameplay-based for a while. As most of you know, I usually play story stuff. And this is probably the, m I guess it's the most gameplay focused thing that I've played, at least recently. It's not that I don't enjoy gameplay, it's just that between the two, if you made me pick, hey, if, if gameplay and story are in an ocean and they're drowning, which one would you save? I'm sorry, but at this point it would still be story. <laughs> Lies of P, from my understanding, it does make the story more explicit than other Souls-like games though, so I did find the world building and the lore enjoyable. Although I do feel like sometimes it's still... Like, the story is still more of a companion piece to the gameplay. They're not really on equal footing, I feel like. Which, you know, I think that's fine. Because half the time, I was too busy thinking about the bosses to really think about the story much anyway. <laughs> and like I said, it was an enjoyable trip. My first Souls-like, or something like that. Um... Difficulty-wise? Difficulty's a very subjective thing. So I, I don't want to make it sound like... <laughs> Wait, hold on. I was led to believe this would be like crushingly hard because multiple people were like, Oh, I couldn't finish the game, I had to quit and stuff, but... N not... This is not a humble brag, okay? But I, I did think this... Compared to something like the newer God of War games, which I talked about in the very first video as well, Gana and Sigrun, those are the two hardest bosses in those games. I don't think they were any less difficult than the Lies of P bosses. In fact, I think they're more difficult than 95% of the bosses here, with the 5% being maybe King of Puppets. So yeah, that... It was more manageable than I expected it to be. I did enjoy spending a little bit of time trying to um, learn all the boss movesets and whatnot, but I don't think my opinion overall on these types of games has really changed that dramatically. It's basically exactly what I thought it was gonna be. Like if. If you take too long, it gets frustrating, and from like a content creation perspective, honestly, it's not a very good time investment. <laughs> There's a lot of editing that needs to be done, there's a lot of playing that needs to be done, and the final product is that the total amount of hours you're putting in, the product you're getting out of it, the, the cost to benefit ratio is... is it high or low? Which one am I trying to say here? But you know the one I'm trying to say, it's, it's a little bit high in cost. As a game though, I think it's enjoyable. It's just that, you know, if you're seeing this on YouTube right now, if you're seeing this on the internet, it means that it's not just a game for me. It's like this whole thing where I have to plan out a whole schedule around it and record myself and talk while playing it. So that turns it into something a little bit different. But I can't say I didn't enjoy it because I did. This is one of the few games where I played very far in advance just to make sure that the schedule, the video schedule will be a bit more consistent. And in those periods when I was just playing on my own, 
without the comment section to really, you know, influence the way I play and stuff. Ironically enough, it wraps back around to being some of the most, wow, I'm just a girl playing some video games, I've felt in many, many months. So it's weird how that works out, but I'm glad to have experienced it like that. Yeah. I'm pretty sure there's supposed to be some DLC later on, and then like that whole thing with Dorothy, Wizard of Oz. Is that DLC or is that like a new game entirely? I am cautiously gonna be keeping an eye on it, on both the DLC and whatever else. I am curious to see more in this world because that whole thing with Paracelsus seems like it's gonna be much more than what we've seen. Yeah, this was Well Ends with Lies of P. I hope you enjoyed watching it. Uh, thank you for all the encouragement you guys were giving me in this comment section too. Even though I played far in advance, I did see that a lot of people were very nice. It's definitely easier to keep going when the vibes are good. This applies for everything in life. So I'm glad that was the case here. Thank you once again for joining me. And I can only hope that you enjoyed watching as much as I enjoyed playing it, because I really did enjoy playing it. And I will see you all, perhaps in a continuation to P or Dorothy's story or whoever. Paracelsus' story. Maybe. I'll see you in another place and another time. Bye!